in coal mines throughout the UK, the Coal Authority are really leading the way in, in mine water geothermal, but it's not been done in metal mines because there's added complications of, of the metals that are in the water and also mineral rights ownerships and that sort of thing. So this is a first, uh, this is a first proper funded feasibility for Cornwall and metal mines. So Livewest has several hundred properties in Pending and we're looking at how we can make our homes much more energy efficient to reduce customer bills and to reduce the impact of heating on the environment. So this is a really interesting project for us. It's about taking a new technology and putting it on existing housing it will hopefully provide a model that we can use for other estates around Cornwall and beyond. So it would be great to see how it comes out and actually whether we can use the energy that's stored within the mine shaft to heat the houses that were originally built for the mine workers. We really need data to tell us what's down there because no one's been down there properly for years. Um, so today we're running first CCTV, which is what's running in the background now, just to see the state of the shaft and where the water level is and what's underneath the water. We need to make sure that none of the beams that were holding up the shaft have, have fallen in basically and blocked it so we can run our other tools. And then on the other tools we're running a temperature profile to get the geothermal gradient because that's what we're after, we're after heat. And then we'll be running some water samplers to get the geochemistry. So the depth of this shaft is 480 metres and this first run will see, will show us whether it's open to that depth. Working underground, it, it's, it's a totally different experience to what most people uh, would even think about. It's a mixture of uh, hard work, it's a mixture of danger, uh, it's a mixture of the great camaraderie that existed underground. It's something that those of us who work here have known about the potential because of the temperature difference in the water that flows out of the attic mouth. It's fairly cold, but once you get to the shaft, the water is quite a bit warmer. And to actually utilise that is a great idea, and it's something that we've been talking about on the site for quite a few years. So it's great to see this happen. I'm really quite exciting about, uh, excited about looking down that shaft and seeing what it looks like now. It's been, you know, it's been flooded since 1990. I'm really positive about this project. I'm so excited because it is happening elsewhere in the UK and there's no reason we can't do it in Cornwall. And I just, I just love the fact that we're using an old resource that has such a heritage link to it for something good and green. And I, I think that's wonderful.